Uh, look at this pickup truck compared to this old one. Cars have gotten so massive. Not really. On average, automobiles today are smaller than they used to be. The average car length now is 16.5 feet, but in 1960, it was 17.75 feet. And most of those were sedans, not trucks or SUVs like people are driving now. The largest American sedans ever were manufactured decades ago. And in fact, the record for biggest sedan ever manufactured is still held by the 1974 Cadillac Fleetwood, nearly 50 years later. Okay, so cars have gotten smaller, but why does it seem like trucks have gotten huge? Because we're looking at a cherry pick meme right now. Graphics like this are all over the internet. They compare compact trucks manufactured in the immediate aftermath of the fuel embargo to large trucks today. But the truth is, the average automobile today still hasn't returned to its pre-embargo size. And while trucks are one exception, it's not because Americans have an obsession with giant trucks like some have alleged. The EPA is at fault here, not consumers. Cafe regulations made small trucks impossible to manufacture. Wait, compact trucks were wiped out by regulations that were there to improve fuel economy? Yep, most consumers don't need a full-size truck, but cafe standards require small trucks to be so fuel efficient that they're just not profitable to manufacture. By 2025, a 55 square foot truck would be required to get nearly 50 miles per gallon, which is a lot to ask. But if you were to increase its footprint to 75 square feet, it could get away with something in the high 30s, which is more achievable. Okay, so it's the government's fault small trucks are gone, whatever. And sure, sedans are smaller than before. But the issue is, no one's driving them. That's the point. The people who used to drive regular cars are getting SUVs and trucks. That's because, much like the compact pickup, environmental regulations have basically killed the affordable large sedan, leaving us with no middle ground. But people still want to put their families in large, safe, comfortable cars. Unfortunately, now their options are a flimsy or cramped sedan, or an oversized crossover or SUV with more space than you actually need. Too big or too small. Maybe we should allow auto manufacturers to create and sell affordable large sedans or smaller trucks that get moderate fuel economy like they used to. With all the advanced and technology, it probably wouldn't even be a huge drop-off in fuel economy anyway. Yep, but cafe standards killed those entire classes of vehicle, forcing consumers into an all-or-nothing scenario. And much to the regulator chagrin, people aren't choosing nothing in the numbers they had hoped for. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, and to learn more, go to fee.org. Thank you.